Hey y'all, Joe here at Southern Coastal Cooking, coming at you tonight with some tons of flavor. I'm gonna do a pork recipe. Inspired me uh, for this recipe actually is the uh, sous vide everything channel and the Google Foods. They were doing some pork videos here lately. Also, my friends over at uh, Black Garlic, American, America, North American Black Garlic. Because uh, man, I just love cooking with that stuff. But anyway, trying to get my, my gloves on here, y'all. Come down here and look at this pork. You know, what this is, I wanted to get a pork, some pork tenderloins, sent the wife to the store. She picked up a whole big pork loin. That's fine. What I did was I cleaned it up, I cut it in half, and, and, and butterflied it, and then just cutting these little strips right here. This will work for what I'm trying to do. And want thick pieces. Look, I've got this heaven made products, smoky habanero rub. This is going to be our little spice element. Okay, don't want too, too much. There's a little bit on here. It's gonna be so good, y'all. Just wait. Now, this, we're we'll gonna go to the other side as well. And we'll let this rub just kind of linger in here. And then we're gonna make a sauce here in just a second, y'all. It's gonna be so good. Uh, or sauce slice, or slice of marinade. We'll cook this stuff in, but y'all just let that hang out. Put that in the refrigerator for a minute, and it's all good. Now for the sauce, or the marinade, I've got one, two, three, four, five limes. Show what I'm going to do. Go ahead and bust some of these limes apart. Now I've got this little juicer right here, okay? We'll just juice these limes. I just want to juice out of these limes right here. Oh, yeah. And this is going to make... For a wonderful marinade. And this, this is the part of the idea I got uh, from Sous Vide Everything or Google Foods. I can't remember. He's got the same people. I have two channels. But, uh, no, nope, Sous Vide Everything. Because, yeah, he did the Sous Vide. It. Now I'm going to dump that lime juice over there. Okay. So one lime fills up this to about six teaspoons. Go ahead and cut another one in half here. But you get the idea, I'm going to go ahead and juice these limes. Okay, so I've got the lime juice. That made, that made about a cup of lime juice here, okay? Uh, if you were doing this, and I'm gonna sous vide this, but if you weren't doing that, if you were just using this as a marinade, you might wanna make a little bit more. But anyway, next, piece of resistance, American, North American peeled black garlic, okay? From the uh, North American, uh, Black Garlic Company. I'll show you a link to that. Anyway, wonderful, wonderful stuff. I mean, you cannot beat this stuff for flavor. I'll show you. Just some cloves here, already peeled. Take just a handful of those. And we'll just put them in here, in the line. All right, y'all, so I put probably about 10 cloves of this black garlic in this mixture right here, okay? This is gonna be wonderful. Now, we're gonna take that, pour it in a blender here, and go blend this up real quick, just to mix it up, get it good. Oh yeah. Okay, go blend this up, we'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I blended this, got it down to, here we go. Just a black garlic puree with the uh, lime juice. All right. So that's some flavor party right there. We're gonna use that. Put inside a bag with the pork. Okay. So I got all my pork in this bag right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add our mixture. Oh, that's wonderful. Mix it around. My hands just come in here. Make sure everything gets coated. Now I'm gonna put this in the vacuum seal on the marinade cycle. You don't have to do this as optional. I'm gonna marinate this for about 20 minutes, okay? There you go. All right. I have decided that I'm not going to sous vide uh, for a couple of reasons. Oh, mainly it's getting a little bit too late. And uh, I'm gonna take it an hour and a half to sous vide them. 
I'm gonna put them on the Yoda Y640 with some uh, lumberjack pecan pellets. That's what I'm gonna do. Cooking to about 150 degrees out there. I've got them still marinating on my VP112S, vacuum seal on the marinate cycle. I'm gonna run them about 127 minute cycle. And that should be fine. I'll probably stop it and flip it in between, so about two 18 minute cycles, whatever. Well, that wouldn't be quite two 18 minute cycles, but you get what I mean. Marinate for about 30 minutes, 15 minutes a side. So <clears throat> that's what I'm gonna do. Because uh, that lime juice eventually just cook it, that pork almost. So uh, we're gonna get them off there. We'll go out in the Y640 y in a minute. All right, y'all, we're out here with the pork now. Got out of the marinade, and that's what it looks like right there, if you can see. Am I nice? Okay. Now, I'm gonna put it right here on the cooker. I got about 280 degrees. And uh, bring y'all in here just a little bit, maybe, so you can see. I'm just gonna lay it just like that, right there in the middle of the cooker. That's what I think. Be best. That's the piece kind of thick there. So uh, I'll just lay it just like that. I'm gonna let it go. That's gonna be real fine right there. All right, y'all. While that's out there smoking or cooking, we gonna make a basting sauce for this, y'all. I'm gonna show what we got. I got about a third of a cup of local honey right on my dad's highs out there. All right, then I'm gonna put about a teaspoon or so of this, uh, the olive tap, Bordeaux cherry balsamic vinegar. It's wonderful stuff, y'all. Good. Oh, look at that. Just about a teaspoon will be just fine. Yeah, let's put another teaspoon. This stuff's beautiful. All right, I'm cutting there. Now, uh, I've got some of this right here. I can't pronounce this quite right, but basically what this is, this is like a uh, Chinese or Japanese, or whatever you'll find in the Asian section in the market. Um, it's the Asian food. Uh, it's a chili paste. Really good stuff. Adds a little bit of heat to the party. All right, let's add a couple of teaspoons of that. Yeah, about three teaspoons, okay? But a tablespoon of this stuff here. That's some good stuff. Another thing just to round it out, how about just a little bit of uh, Dijon mustard, okay? Okay, one, about two of these, okay? So let's stir this together. Now, still a little thick. I don't want quite this thick. I'm going to show you my other magical ingredient here. Is uh, pomegranate juice, okay? It's, it's stuff I use in the morning in my smoothies. Put just a little drab of that in there. Okay, just to thin out mainly. Also, it'll add a little bit of sweet through fruit flavor. Okay, so you got that in there. Don't want to put too much. Don't want to get too thin. You just want to wear it's just perfect right there. And pretty red color to it. And that's what we're going to use as a glaze here, just a little bit on that pork out there. The stuff can taste. Oh, yeah, that's right. All right, y'all, I'm just coming out here now, just checking these. I just checked temps. We're hovering around 100 degrees or so. I just want to give them this first little glaze. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Just give a good little glaze. So we'll flip them here shortly. But I want glaze on this side first. These things are nice. They look like salmon fillets almost in here. It's kind of funny. But uh, this pork. Oh, yeah. So we go just like that. Cherry and that uh, pomegranate glaze on there with that black garlic and lime. That's gonna be wonderful. Sweet with savory with bitterness on the inside. Let's uh, say bitterness with the tangs of the lime. Let's shut it down. Check it again in a few. 
I'm going to them back out here again. Taking the temps here with my thermal pen. 118. Okay. Trying this in here. 117, 119. Alright, so we're going to flip them now. Remember, I'm shooting for 150. Oh, look at that nice little char on that side. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Flip them now. Come on. Okay. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and baste that side there and uh, get that all nice and basted up. All right. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and get these off. We reach about 104 degrees. They look wonderful. Put them right there on my pro tape board. And uh, I'm going to leave a big one on here for a little bit. A couple more minutes, but these other ones. Oh, yeah, just let them sit on there. And uh, these are going to. That's nice. Let them rest. Okay? Let me get them off. All right, y'all, let these rest for a few minutes, about three minutes or so, and uh, let's just check it out and see how they taste. Let's look down here. Look wonderful. Smell wonderful. I could smell, as I carried them in, I could smell that black garlic kind of just waving off of there. That's really, really neat to me. Let's uh, take a couple little slices off of each just to uh, check them for doneness, tenderness, stuff like that. And I say I know they're all done. I just want to make sure I want to test them against each other. Honestly. Well, yeah. Okay, so we just... That biggest one I still got out there, I'm going to pick it off and here in just a moment. But let's leave these to try. Well, I think this is going to be really, really good. Let's give it a try. Hmm. Oh wow, that's juicy. And the first thing I think of, I can taste that, that wonderful, that black garlic coming out just a little bit. Okay, just that, that nice, funky, garlicky flavor with the, um, with the little note some citrus there definitely hanging in the back. Now, not much lime taste, it's just I can taste some citrus. Um, a little bit of sweet, I guess, from the glaze. Let's taste this. This is the outside piece here, okay? Hmm. Man, that's good. A lot of good sweetness. Almost like a cherry. I'm gonna taste going through. And smokiness as well. Oh, that is fine. I have to tell you. <laughs> Everything came together to make this dish just right. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I want to thank the guys over at CV to Everything and Google Foods. Give me an idea with, with, with this lime juice and stuff. And, of course, uh, all my other sponsors, people that help me out. Lum Jack Pellets, thank y'all so much. And some great flavor to this. And, and the North American garlic, with the black garlic. Man, that, that definitely did have some flavor. Having made products, that little rub of yours. It's a little bit of heat dancing in there from that. I don't mean it that I mean that habanero. Thank y'all so much, y'all. Please uh, like my videos. You know, sub my channel. God bless y'all. 
I'll be back again soon and get some of this light on my up here. <laughs> Thank y'all. I'll try to have another video up this weekend.